pain. Do not be afraid. Huh? What magic is this? I am using the Whisper Cane, a natural ability of vampires. In this way, we can keep in contact even over great distances. Yes, I remember now. She had been in my thoughts. I almost believed I had called her myself. Never fear. I cannot read your thoughts. But only speak into your mind and hear you in return. Now, proceed down this street. I shall be waiting. Slums, Kane. We are in the oldest and most decrepit part of the city, where few people dare to come. A perfect place to train you. Train me? Do you take me for a dog? Your memory has been shattered, and your body has lain dormant for 200 years. What skills you had must be recovered before you can be of any use to the Cabal. You must learn to fight and to survive. I thought you were taking me to feed. Patience, vampire. First, know that you are stronger and faster than mortal men, able to jump higher and farther than any human that ever lived. When your path is blocked, seek for a place to jump. Now, join me up here. Know that you also have the ability to float. When you are on a ledge such as this one, you may land silently and carefully by floating down. This will be important when I train you to kill. Now, follow me. She would discover I needed little training in how to kill. is a labyrinth. All the better for a hunting ground. Tell me, Cain, are you hungry? Yes. I have a prisoner waiting for you down below, a thug from a local gang of criminals. He sought to murder yet another helpless victim, but he met me instead. Spare me the moral anecdote and direct me to his throat. Drink then. I will be waiting below. I see you are restored. Blood is your life. Without it, you will die. If you are wounded, seek out blood to restore your vitality. You must know, too, that by drinking the blood of others, you will gradually become stronger and harder to kill. 
We call this a vampire's lore. The more creatures you drink from, the more lore you will gain, and the greater your health will become. Leave no enemy alive, Cain. You will need their blood and their lore to survive. Now, let us continue. to humans in many ways, we also have certain weaknesses that they do not possess. Though it is life-giving to humans, water is deadly to vampires. Its touch burns our skin. Immersion in water can kill us. Avoid it at all costs. Also know that scattered throughout Meridian are relics of our ancestors. Useless to humans, only vampires can access these coffers and use the power within. Seek these out on your journey. of our mortal enemies, the Seraphan. It is their sworn crusade to destroy all vampires, and for this they have developed special defenses. You see here a ward gate. What precisely does it do? Should you so much as touch it, you will be burned as by fire. The Seraphan have raised these wards throughout Meridian. We can go no farther this way. Follow me into the sewer. Your ability to survive will depend upon your ability to fight. It's time for you to learn how to kill. Your first line of defense is your agility. You can dodge around an opponent using your inhuman speed. You can also defend yourself by blocking attacks. I shall now strike at you. 
Do not be concerned. I shan't use my claws. Block my attacks, and we can proceed to the next lesson. We are all armed with a natural weapon. Our claws. Use them to kill your enemies. You can practice by attacking me. If you see an enemy become tired, use this opportunity to grab him. Once grabbed, you can throw him a great distance. Your lesson is over for the moment. Continue through the sewer, and I shall meet you again shortly. Here you are at last. Through this door lies your first true test. A gang of criminals are encamped ahead, and one of their number stands guard, unaware that his fate approaches. You must kill him, Cain. You have the skill to block and dodge his attacks. Bring him down using your claws. Once you have felled him, drink his blood to restore yourself from any wounds you may receive. I will be watching. Physical superiority, vampires also possess dark gifts. These are our supernatural abilities. Our curse develops differently in each of us, giving us unique powers. Much of your former power, Cain, has been weakened during your long hibernation, but you yet retain a single dark gift. The mist you see here can be used to your advantage. You have the ability to assume a mist form and become nearly invisible. You can move silently to bring down your prey from behind. At times when you are outnumbered, look for mist from which to kill your enemies silently. If you are pursued, you can hide in mist to escape. Now, use this gift to kill those before you in the cemetery. I will let you continue when the deed is done.
of sorcery is this? This is Glyph Energy, a new form of magic brought into the world with the rise of the Seraphan. It supplies power to all of Meridian. The gate you see can be opened using this energy. Activate the Glyph Box. This will bring power to the gate's lever and allow you to open it. Glyphs are operated by the Glyph Rites, a secret society existing within Meridian. You may see them working on glyphs from time to time. They rarely talk with the townsfolk, and very little is known about their origins. Ahead is the market where the common dregs of Meridian engage in their filthy commerce. Beyond the market is the bridge that leads to the lower city. Make your way east to the bridge. I shall meet you there. And where are you going? I shall scout ahead to ensure that you don't meet any Seraphan patrols. You aren't ready for them yet. How trusting of you to leave me to my own devices. Consider it an act of goodwill.
generous, I call it. You see that? Have you- I'll call it go- <laughs> 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 This way. Follow me. Where are we going? I am taking you to Sanctuary, the heart of the Cabal. It is time that you meet our leader. It was time indeed to hear this so-called leader's plans and learn what he thought his plans might be for me. Cain, this way. Vampire! Here, close the gate. Reach the lower city. The smuggler's tunnel will take you there. Pestilent vampire! Die! Go to the Grand Hotel in the slums. A contact will meet you there. He will tell you where to go. Stinky, verminous, blood-sucking fiend! Do you want your death now? Come, and you shall have it. Come back! I was alone at last. In a city changed beyond all recognition. In a land under a curse. Should I follow her, as she asked, or go my own way, find my own answers? But answers were promised me in sanctuary. After that, I would know what to do. Around here. Ah! 
governor.
I was told to meet someone here. Who's there? You must be Cain. You are a human. Curious that you would help one such as I. We hate the Zarafan, we humans. The things they do, it's not right, not natural. If your kind can bring them down, I'll help you, I will. I was told to find the smuggler's den. You're a stone's throw from the entrance. Go through, it will lead you to the smuggler's den. Careful though, there's rogues down there that'll attack you on sight. Then they will die. Wait! Tell Uma that I helped you, please. She promised me the dark gift if I did as she asked. You'll tell her, won't you? I'm certain Uma will give you all that you deserve. Greetings, Cain. You eluded the guards. They were only human. Welcome to one of the glories of our fair city, the Smuggler's Den. As squalid as you found the slums, you will find this place even more offensive. Rogues and thieves rule the streets, and of course the Seraphan too have their own dealings here. You may expect small help from the inhabitants, and more trouble. I do not require their hospitality. You spoke of a smuggler's tunnel, I must find? Yes. It is hidden somewhere in this district. I know not where. I have sent word to a member of the Cabal to help you. You will find him at the tavern, deep within this district. How will I know this person? He will know you. Find the tavern quickly. We will speak again later. <laughs> 